nice to have you along and welcome to another season of Northwestern Wildcat football. Ryan, break it down, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's do it. The Cats open the season in the most unusual of places today, playing a football game outside the United States for the first time in program history. They have traveled to Ireland to take on Nebraska in a Big Ten West matchup. Listen, guys, you prepared unbelievable. Now trust yourself and go play and have a lot of fun. We got the eyes of college football on us. Let's go put a show on. Let's go. Put it on three, one, two, three. Put it on. Yeah, I've been a morning guy my whole life. Uh, just something I think that was ingrained in me by my mom. So I make my bed still every day. <laughs> That's what she expected. Uh, and, uh, you know, just kind of the way I've always ticked. So you know, we've been a morning practice routine team for about 15 years. And uh, kind of the way the guys like it now, I think we'd have a problem if I decided to change this afternoon. So get up, start the day. Get a ton done before everybody else is awake. And it's amazing how much more productive you can be. As the 2022 football season approaches, it's an all too familiar feeling inside Walter Athletic Center. For the second time in three years, the Wildcats followed up a Big Ten West title with a three and nine record. Pat Fitzgerald and his staff are eager to get the bad taste of 2021 out of their system. We probably got to do some like red zone, tight zone days of one on one right. or what, what have you. But, right. Which um, is what we got today. As a coach, this is my 27th season of coaching. I've, I've said this everywhere I've ever been. I, I've had the opportunity to coach at every level high school, college, the NFL. And uh, football's football. You know, training camp is training camp. <laughs> Anytime there's a lack of success, you, the first thing you need to do is look in the mirror. Okay, so uh, I, I looked in the mirror and, and said, okay, we're, we're going to set a new standard, uh, a standard that's been set here before, uh, shoot, a standard that was set the previous season with, um, with us being ranked number 10 in the nation. To a sense, you go into the offseason after last year and, and you see it as a personal challenge of, of where can I get better? And, and, and then how can I help our guys get better? How can I help our staff get better? It's, it's not just what we're doing on the field. It's what we're doing in the meeting room. It's what we're doing in the weight room. It's what we're doing on the conditioning field. It's what we're doing in the recovery room and the training room. Uh, and, and the guys have made it a point that, that they're gonna focus on all, all of those things and, and um, leave no stone unturned, you know? And, and, and um, wherever they can gain advantage and, and uh, help improve upon uh, last year, then, then they're, they're going to find that. After a seven month off season, it's finally August along the shores of Lake Michigan. There are paths to hit, whistles to blow, and strides to make towards a new season of Cats football. Northwestern returns 13 starters from the previous campaign. One name missing from that list is junior running back Cam Porter. Watch Cam Porter at the end of this run. Exclamation point. Bam. He put his pads down and he said, welcome, Big Ten football, here I am. Busting up the middle, to the 15, to the 10, and down to the nine yard line. Four straight carries by Cam Porter for 40 yards. And the 
going to snap it to him again. And he's going to angle left, and he's going to waltz into the end zone for the touchdown. Yes. Cam Porter covers the entire 50 yards on the drive. And you can see why he's the future of the running game of Northwestern football. Yes, 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 yes. Probably around practice five, you know what I mean? So go out to practice, um, go through the warm up, feeling pretty good, feeling relaxed, um, doing pat and go drill, um, just catching balls over the shoulder. Uh, and uh, I, I run down the field. Uh, go for uh, a deep ball um, thrown over my shoulder. Uh, went to go catch it, and when I came down, I went to go plant that right leg, um, and it kind of just hyperextended on me. Um, and that's kind of what I just thought it was, a hyperextension, you know what I mean? I was, I was ready to go back out there. Um, the trainers pulled me aside and told me uh, I probably should just relax a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, they start feeling on it a little bit, pulling on it. He said it felt a little loose, um, but nothing that they were paranoid about. Um, got a little swollen on me um, and they told me just the next day we're gonna get some MRIs on it and everything like that. A couple days later I um, got the results uh, and they called me in and, and unfortunately they let me know um, that it was a torn ACL meniscus in my right leg so you know kind of hit me hard um, really was my first major major season in an injury um, and it was tough to do it you know what I mean um, having the game that you love taken away from you in the blink of an eye. You know, it's kind of a surreal feeling. Uh, but um, looking back on it now, you know, um, it all happened for a reason and it was part of God's plan for me, you know what I mean? And I really felt that as if I'd grown throughout the process um, and honestly became not only a better football player, but a better man. Nebraska gotta feel this Nebraska gotta feel this I'm, I'm really grateful for the guys. I'm really grateful for um, the coaching staff, you know what I mean, and, and the strength staff and the, and the um, training staff. You know, they, they kept me in it. They kept me kept me going when, when I didn't think I could, you know. Obviously, you want to have success, but at the end of the day, I really just want to help us reach our goals. Obviously taking care of week one and, and towards our, our goals towards the end of the season, you know, is, is winning the Big Ten Championship and getting to a bowl game. So that's all I'm really focused on. Yes, we go into a fair fight, you've lost. Yeah. This shouldn't be a fair fight. You're ready to go out and do what you're going to do to go win this game. Hellcats on three, one, two, three. Hellcats. Well, already an exciting time of year. Opening the college football season in Dublin, Ireland adds a whole new level of anticipation for senior captain Aratamiwa Adabare. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I've never been outside the country. So for me, it's going to be a whole new experience. Obviously being on a plane for seven hours or however long it is. And then, you know, being, you know, kind of immersed into a new culture, the way people talk, the way people kind of act or behave, whatever. Um, it's going to be really cool. Um, so I can't wait for that. And then obviously the game. Uh, guys have been wanting this game since last year. You know, they came out and, you know, they did what they did to us. You know, they blew us out. And, you know, we have to get our respect back. So, um, you know, guys have been working really hard. We've been thinking about it every day. You know, start to a new season, and it's even better with this opponent. So we're all excited for it. Welcome to Dublin. What's up, Wildcats? Uh, we're going 
going to be on national television tomorrow. We're, the, we're, we're kicking off the college football season. How about that? We're all here to celebrate this great nation, this great, the great people of Ireland, uh, and we're going to do it through our game. So have fun, get ready to have a great time tomorrow, and as always, go Cats, all right? Thanks. Yesterday, Coach Pitts talked about tomorrow we'll be here ready to kick off in, in, in Dublin. Okay? At the same time, you think about the volume of work you guys have put in since the end of season last year. Okay? You're ready. Okay? No one needs to be Superman today. Do your job, do it right, and show them what our edge is going to be. We clear? Let's, okay, break. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go 1 0 today. All right, here we go. 1 0 and 3. 1, 2, 3. 1 0. I will. We're up from uh, Galway. Came up for the match today to see what this is all about. We're from Germany, uh, western part of Germany. <laughs> this is Kim and my friend from Ireland. We're all from Ireland. Go Cats! Go Cats! Let's go! Fitzy, love him. Super excited for the year. I think we're going to have a great season. Cats, baby! Yes! Go Cats! Go Cats! Go Cats! It's Nebraska against Northwestern in the uh, Erlingus College Football Classic at the Aviva. The 141st season opener for the Northwestern Wildcats. They opened it with a Big Ten game for the third straight year. How nervous is Nebraska about this could look like a completely different team than the one they, they shredded last year? Northwestern can come out and run the ball, shorten this game, take some of the athletes on the edge away from Nebraska by dictating the style then, hey, it's going into the fourth quarter. So the corner's already, but we were built for this, man. Fly around and make play, that's all we do. Let's do what we do, man, let's go. Teed up cats in all purple with white numerals, white letters. The approach to the 2022 season is underway in Ireland. And on that drive, Casey Thompson, five of six passing, 69 yards, and a beautiful 36-yard rainbow. That puts Nebraska up seven to nothing in this one, but the Cats have not yet touched the football. Dave, it's very important this offense gets cranked up early. Ryan Holinsky, of course, got the starting knob. Here is Cam Porter returning for the first time in two years, and the Cats facing second down and 10. Quick throw, Helensky at a wide receiver screen. The Luke Washington blown up by Chris Gallardo. Luke Akers, the new punter for the Wildcats, is on. Although a slow start for the Wildcat O in the first, it's special teams keeping them within striking distance. throw here on first down winds up going deep down the middle of the field and it is broken up beautiful job by Cameron Mitchell to break up that pass on third down and goal Cornhuskers they will uh, fake the give and Thompson takes it himself and he's in for the touchdown let's go hey guys go we're right there just keep pounding the rock all right keep fighting 14 to three, they really get something going and I think their running game is not what we expected so far in this early part of the game. And faking the give is Helinski throwing wide open, Nairo's got it, five, touchdown! Raymond Nairo and the Wildcats answer back. Come on, With the offense heating up, it's the defense's turn to make a big stop. Thompson back to throw again. Now being flushed from the pocket, being chased. Throws on the run, making oh. the catch. Garcia Castaneda inside the 20, inside the 15. The ball comes out. The Wildcats are signaling they've got it, and they do. The first turnover of the game. Grayson Metz recovers the fumble. First and 10 for their own 40. Helinski to throw. He has time. He throws. Left sideline, caught by Washington. Protection's good. Helinski looking over the middle. Caught to the 35-30. Near side 25. Tyus 15 and run out of bounds. 
Zelensky to throw. Now going to the end zone for Navarro. Touchdown! Danny Navarro reaching high for that ball. Climb the ladder. Second touchdown pass today for Ryan Helensky. That's what I'm talking about. Heading to the locker room here in Dublin. 17 to 14. Oh, let's go. Keep going. Let's 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 keep going. Everything we want to do is there. All we got to do is make sure we don't get into bad deeds. These situations, just keep playing the ball, put your foot in the gas, and put our foot on their throat. Let's go. You're built for this. You've prepared to go win this football game. This way. Everybody with me on that. Stay confident in the process. You guys having fun? Yeah. Let's take it up a whole nother notch, okay? All right? Fundamentals first. Communication. Let's go finish the job. Yeah. Let's finish the job. We don't three, one, two, three. Go ahead. To begin the third quarter, they've got the lead. Ted, they worked hard to get it. Now they want to keep it and build it. Snap to Thompson. Thompson looking. Now the pocket collapsing, being chased. Still on the run to the far side. Now he reverses field. Still on his feet and heaves it deep downfield. He's got Garcia Costa in a wide open, makes the catch 40 35 to the 30. Still on his feet and pushed out of bounds in Wildcat territory by Cam Mitchell. Thompson gets the snap, hands it off Grant. Motors through the right side, slants into the end zone. Touchdown. Right, though, guys, you guys got to hydrate. It's be a long game. We're going to have to probably win the game in a two minutes. Hydrate. 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 Northwestern starting from their own 25 yard line. Give will be to Porter. Weaves his way up the middle. Breaks free 30, 35, 40. Upended, fumbles the football in Nebraska. There were two Cornhuskers there to pounce on it. They did. Caleb Tanner comes up with the Wildcats' first turnover. Nebraska's got it right back in Wildcat territory. And it was a big play on the ground. Porter's best run of the day. You know, Cam trying to deliver the blow versus accepting the blow. And that helmet just went right on the ball. Second down, give to Grant through the left side. And Grant weaves his way and breaks away. 30-25, it's a foot race. To the 10, to the 5, end zone, touchdown Nebraska. 46 yards for Grant. Took him just two plays to cash in on the Porter fumble. And the Cornhuskers back up by double digits. Down two scores, the Cats are looking for some Irish luck to come their way. They would not have to wait long. 28-17 Nebraska. Here is the run up, and it's an onside kick, and taken by the Wildcats. Alertly, Andrew Clare grabbed that ball in a short hop, and the Cats have it in Nebraska territory. Second down and 10, play fake. Kalinsky rolls to the right, lets it go, bobbled and caught inside the five. Malik Washington, a juggling catch. It's going to be first and goal for the Wildcats. And Porter dances his way up the middle, punches to the end zone. Touchdown, Cam Porter. Welcome back. New Year's Day 2021, the last time he scored a touchdown. And the Cats creep closer with 7.53 to go. Heading into the fourth quarter, the Cats keep chipping away. A missed field goal forces the defense to step up. Thompson looks to throw. He's got time over the middle. Intercepted. Cam Mitchell the other way to the 45 to midfield on his feet far side. Inside the 45. <laughs> Ryan throws left side. Caught by Hull reaching for the first down. And he got it! Hall takes it through the left side, big hole, 15. Ducks outside of the 10 to the 5. Here's Hall again. Hull, the loot defender, walks into the end zone for the touchdown. That is all you! That is all you! The Cats are feeling it, and the defense closes this one out. Thompson looking to the right, quick throw through the hands 
on the receiver and intercepted by the Wildcats. Bueller with the first interception of his career. And the Wildcats are going to leave Dublin, Ireland 1-0. Let's go! Start of something special. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this, this is the start of something special. Let's get it now. Okay, it's on three. One, two, three. Hey, okay.